So you find most most men uh, they, they obey the natural selfishness of a man mm -hmm. because men are turned on very fast and they know the pleasure of being inside the vagina. Mm -hmm. So that's what they rush to. Mm -hmm. They rush to getting into the vagina mm -hmm. instead of preparing this woman until until she's turned on. In fact, we say the right way of romance it is when a woman invites you to penetrate her, not you taking yourself. Mm -hmm. You should be invited. You should be invited. Wow. Wow. You should always wait for the invitation. Mm. But most men will not. Wait, wait. Tupendane, turn on, come zuri. You know, it's so casual, it's so technical, it's so yeah. and it mechanical. Yeah. So it puts off the wife. Unaona tu amekati yapo. Mm. So unaona mumeka ten minutes, fifteen minutes. This woman has not reached orgasm. Mm. Why? Her body is not well prepared, mm. and that's the way a woman is wired. Mm. So. Don't And uh, in another episode, we talked about ladies having seven sensitive parts, yes, and boys having six. Six, yes, yeah. So maybe you can tell us: Are they the same? Because the not every woman, this my her sensitive part may not be your sensitive part. Mm -hmm. Like maybe maybe I talk about the neck. Mm -hmm. You may touch her neck and jah, turn on mimi, or you touch the neck and she's like, yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So are they the same? I think it's just a matter of uh, a woman understanding her own body mm -hmm. and guiding the husband mm -hmm. sure. because uh, sensitivity is everywhere. Yeah. It all matters with how most of the times when you see a woman declining, mm -hmm. maybe attached from the husband, either she's hurt, she has unforgiveness, she's wounded. Mm -hmm. But women generally we love being touched by somebody that we love mm -hmm. and we are emotionally connected to. And so when a, when a man is uh, preparing the wife, mm -hmm. and this should happen before sex, mm -hmm. that's when you're supposed to kiss, that's when you're supposed to touch. Mm -hmm. Because when you kiss, most of the men when they kiss when they're having sex with their wife, mm -hmm. they ejaculate very fast before the woman reaches orgasm. Mm -hmm. So most women refuse during the act mm -hmm. because already the man is already turned on. Mm -hmm. He's already on. So if he, 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 he increases his excitement, mm. he's going to ejaculate very fast, hence leaving the wife not having reached mm. orgasm. So we always say this kissing, this touching should be prior before sex. Mm. Mm. You're wow. getting that. Yeah, Even the, the breast sucking that mm. the word of God talks about in the book of Proverbs mm -hmm. 5 verse 19, mm. that the breast of the, of the wife should satisfy the husband. Mm. That should be before the act. You're wow, getting that. Yeah. You can only kiss your wife or do something that is um, uh, more, maybe sucking, if really your wife has reached orgasm mm -hmm. and you, you have not reached. Mm -hmm. So you, you want to speed up so that you can reach instead of staying for long. A man can do that, but after the wife has reached orgasm. Mm -hmm. But naturally, because of the would I say the natural inclination of a man, mm -hmm. men get, get so tired. Yeah. They want to, they get so tired, they get so pissed off, so they just want to go and have the act. Mm. Uh, you know, they want, they see this wow. thing as a very, a very long process. Mm. Why should I prepare and the vagina is here? <laughs> so most, so most men are very selfish. Yes. Yeah. Because automatic for him, you have to reach orgasm. Mm. You get that? But the wife may not reach orgasm. Yeah. So that's why you find most women even not wanting sex. Because mm. they know, uh, every time I have sex with my husband, I don't reach orgasm. Whereas, my husband enjoys. Yeah. So for how long will you keep on enjoying when me, I'm not enjoying, and he's, he's not ready to prepare me? So you find most, most men, uh, they, they obey the natural selfishness of a man mm -hmm. because men are turned on very fast and they know the pleasure of being inside the vagina. Mm -hmm. So that's what they rush to. Mm -hmm. They rush to getting into the vagina mm -hmm. instead of preparing this woman until, until she's turned on. In fact, we say the right way of romance, it is when a woman invites you to penetrate her, not you taking yourself. Mm -hmm. You should be invited. You should be invited. Wow. Wow. You should always wait for the invitation. Mm. But most men will not. Wait, wait. Tupendane, turn on, come zuri. You know, it's so casual, it's so technical, it's yeah. so mechanical. And it, mechanical. Yeah. So it puts off the wife. Unaona tu amekati yapo. Mm. So unaona mumeka 10 minutes, 15 minutes. This woman has not reached orgasm. Mm. Why? Her body is not well prepared. Mm. And that's the way a woman is wired. Mm. So don't say that she should be ready. 
an, anastahili kuwa amejitayarisha mbona ni mtajitayarisha <laughs> mtajitayarisha si kuwa ready si anajua tuko na game hakujua na kuja hakuwa anajua hapa yeah. anaikuangi hivyo <laughs> a woman is not made the way a man is made you remember the testosterone is very much tangled by sight but estrogen means a lot of soothing a lot of touch a lot of wow. you know kubembelezwa mm. you know until the body is ready you get that mm-hmm. eh? so most men don't know romance and that's what we call about romance mm-hmm. you kiss your wife you touch her breast you touch her you touch everywhere mm-hmm. you should not get inside until you are invited but mm-hmm. when a man sees as amesimamisha for 2 3 5 minutes is bored anataka na imagine si niingie tu nimalize so that's why you find now sex becomes boring and most of the times women don't want to they don't want it mm-hmm. yeah, they don't want it because it's all about him mm-hmm. but when it is more involving the two of you mm-hmm. you feel that uh, you would want to participate mm-hmm. and that's why for a woman romance mm-hmm. is 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 10 times better than even the actual act of wow. sex and can i repeat that mm-hmm. you as the husband penetrating in your wife mm-hmm. to for her to reach orgasm yes. it is not important the greatest pleasure of a woman mm-hmm. is for a play mm-hmm. for a play just touching her that is even the before it is the yeah. greatest pressure if a mm-hmm. woman can get attached you know you know the man takes time to romance her prepare her wow. it is equal to sex even most of the women you romance and she'll tell you can we now sleep she doesn't okay. even want penetration. Tuachia hapo, hako sawa. And you as a man you are wondering uko sawa na sija ingia because for you mm. kuingia ndio ku ndio kuwa ndio kuwa satisfied and ndio yeah. kuwa sawa. You are getting maybe, maybe that. Just to add so something. yes, yes. Yeah, I think ule mama wow. nasema yeah. mama's really brought something so mm. so important that mm. people tend to ignore. Yeah. You see for a woman it is a more of love than the sex. It starts you. from how you talk to me. Mm-hmm. How you, that's why it is, I agree a woman should be called a baby. I am your baby and you are not my baby. You know why? But it's you guys who call us baby. Yeah, I don't know. It is just a misconception. But mm. you, I should be your baby mm. because how you handle the baby, you hug. You, <laughs> how was your day, baby? Those buju, things. Buju, buju. Uh, buju, buju, uh, chocolate surprise. Those things. <laughs> Thank you. You know. But exactly. for you, mm. you are my daddy. Daddy, I complain. Yeah, is that thing. Huh? Mm-hmm. That kind of friendship. So you see, the baby aspect needs you to cuddle, to have that. To, Love the things mm. and you find that the woman with even those that complain mm. that uh, they experience vaginal dryness mm. most of it could be just uh, handled before yeah. by the lavidavi aspect so i agree with mom that's yeah. very true to because add, mm-hmm. to add on that mm-hmm. you uh, I'll add two things one you've talked about uh, proverbs a verse about circling my the, your wife's breast being satisfied mm. with it mm. This verse has been misused in Western Kenya, mm-hmm. where I come from, mm-hmm. whereby <laughs> when a woman gives birth, mm-hmm. one breast is for the husband. Mm-hmm. Now, now ah. it, was, it was always like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's just practicing what the Bible says, yes. that I should suckle the breast. And they take it and suckle. Well, no, disclaimer. And, if your wife is breastfeeding, if your wife is, is breastfeeding, breastfeeding, kindly <laughs> as the man, <laughs> give the opportunity for the baby to <laughs> breastfeed. Why? Remember the immunity of a child who is born is very, very low. <laughs> and the breast of the milk has something we call colostrum. Mm. All right. And that colostrum is very strong. It has all the nutrients, mm. all the immunity, all what a child needs for yeah. growth. Mm. And so when you suckle uh, the breast of your wife and the child does not get enough, mm. remember the immunity of this child is so is, is quite low. So you will, you, you, will, you will deprive the baby from all the nutrients because breast milk is the best milk in the world. Mm. There's no other milk best like the breast milk Magical. because it has everything. It may look watery, but it's very, very rich. And so it has all the immunity, everything, name anything, all the fat that the child needs, all the energy, all the proteins. It's a very well balanced thing. And that's why when we are when our when our child is born, we always encourage mothers mm. to make sure that they breastfeed you know uh, uh, exclusively for six, mm. for six months. For six months. Mm. You know, without giving without anything, without anything, else. without it, so that the mm. child can grow. And this, and this, can you imagine that thing that looks like milk makes a child add weight? Mm. Yeah. You get that? This yeah. child is not eating, 
but this child was born with 2 kgs when you go to the clinic 4 kgs you go again 8 kgs 10 kgs yeah. it tells you breastfeeding only that thing that looks water is not just water this is real food it is rich it's very rich with everything mm. so i would encourage the men since most of the children will breastfeed one year two years please allow your wife to breastfeed and after now she's done like me and now for me i'm done i, I stopped breastfeeding many many years over 10 years ago mm. so then you this breast now belongs to you mm -hmm. but yeah. as long as the mother is breastfeeding mm. Hold on your appetite. Kuna wa mama na onanga wanasema mutoto wa mekata kunyonya. Sasa kikata kunyonya, yyo mazua mbadala ya ipote. Muzua chukwe. Hako ni sawa. Lakini nisikuwe ruti. As a breastfeeding mom, I would want to tell another breastfeeding dad, uh, a dad who is yes. having a breastfeeding mom, <laughs> that the, 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 the art of suckling for a, a dad with a wife is not the same suckling for the baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. he, our routine has continued, mm -hmm. only that mm -hmm. he still does the same, but after the baby has breastfed, and we are sure there mm -hmm. is no milk. Mm -hmm. So, the breast, the, the, the satisfaction from the breast that the Bible says is not you going to withdraw, mm -hmm. it is even irritating. Mm -hmm. what, we, what is meant is just use your tongue to... To, to, to stimulate it. Yeah, yes. something like that. Mm -hmm. But some to parle Western, and I say, my baby, my say, that is that is being selfish. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and now, <laughs> now, now, my mama, me, me, I me clarify. At the end, I, I extend two years. I say, now, mama, nani from today up to two years. As I keep it, I keep on trying. You're like, you ni gani na nyonya? Si ni kwa yangu. Asu na pata kunasa kwa na vita kati ya baba na mtoto kama angali tu mdo. And there was that, uh, it was actually a serious issue, yeah, Dad. In was. Tanzania, mm -hmm. it was a serious issue. Men were really competing for milk, mm -hmm. like competing mm -hmm. for yeah. that protein for the... Uh, in the bodybuilders, most of the problem is bodybuilders buy it. Until moms were they complaining, they can't, mm -hmm. they can't sustain the two. Some mm -hmm. were, were being kulekwa na cartels. Mm -hmm. you, you, what do you do? You, 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 you pump out, you express, and then you sell very expensively, mm -hmm. which, which goes against the order of God. Yeah. The milk is for the baby, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that suckling is not you suckling hard, just... Yeah. Um, and then, ma'am, just on the issue of that madam who asked the question, mm -hmm. I think one thing also you have talked about in a clip somewhere, mm -hmm. is about communicating during sex. Yes. And you say that it's always good for the lady to guide the man. Yes. Yeah. Nambia, yes. Yes. Hapo, yeah. no. Slow, mm -hmm. faster, mm -hmm. come yes. up, yes. wait fast. But I think mm -hmm. this, from what I'm seeing in this text, it's like this woman, there's no communication. Mm -hmm. yeah. So even maybe this man doesn't know mm -hmm. that this lady is going through this unsatisfaction. Mm -hmm. And then also, I think it's also how you comment on your man's But they, this, there's nothing as bad as a woman talking negative about your penis. Mm. Even if it is, yeah. yeah. Even a woman, even yeah. when, a, when a man comments even negatively about the vagina, oh. We also feel very it dis crushes it crushes also oh, your self esteem. Yes. So imagine even if it's big, you are told that you connect with another side. You do to me. You know it crushes. You never even use it again. Mm. Yes. Or you are told that kakiroho ni kadogo akafanya. So the moment you are on that lady, you already feel it is small because she oh, told you that. Judged. You already judged. Mm. Your man who has been crushed. Mm. So also I think one is either she has commented on this man's manhood, mm. or two she has not. They don't communicate during sex. Very yeah. true. Do you even ask? How was it? Mm -hmm. You told us we should be saying thank you. Feedback. Uh, feedback. <laughs> asante zana. Yes, asante. Asante zana. It comes well. uh, Yeah, yeah. Yes. Something like that. That's important. Mm. Yeah, that's very true. Mm. Because I think the problem that we have is because of the way we have taken sex to be in Africa. Yeah. And also in our country that it should not be spoken openly. Mm. But I think it's it's a time now we need to talk about this issue. Yeah. Because sure. if we don't talk about it, the, the, the internet is loud about it mm. and people who are just out there to mislead others are also very vocal yeah. and so a communication as you are saying is very important mm. uh, even du before mm. during and after sex mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. not just during the sex it mm. should be before during and after yeah. sex mm -hmm. and also enhance your your communication skills even in other things finances when you're discussing about your children when you're discussing about other issues that shows that there is a problem of communication in this relationship mm. and there's a lot of comparison mm. You know, you keep comparing your partner with another person. 
I think th these people need a mentor. Yeah. They need a mentor. They need to invest themselves in knowledge, mm. and they also need to understand wh wh what is wh wh physiologically who is a man and physiologically who is a woman because yes. that understanding is very important. Mm. It's important for us to understand that the reason why sometimes women give a lot of excuses when it comes to sex mm. is because of the wiring of the brain of a woman. Mm. The wiring of the brain of a woman, I would liken it with a supergetti. A supergetti. Oh, supergetti oh. that is cooked. Mm. A supergetti. You know when you cook supergetti the way it, it is, yes. it is warmed up. Mm. Yeah. That's the way the wiring of a woman is. Mm -hmm. That's if a woman has a, a challenge. Mm with a with a, with a mother-in-law has a challenge at the place of work mm -hmm. has a challenge with a neighbor mm. that will affect everything about her mm. because it's like super you, it's a super getty mm. you're getting that mm. eh? so if she has a problem at the place of work with the boss it will affect the way she communicates with the house girl mm. communicate with her children communicate with her husband mm. and it will also affect her bedroom matters mm. Wow. That's why it's good to have communication skills whereby mm. you are able to talk to your wife prior before. Mm. How was your day? Mm. No, I had this boss who really quarreled me for nothing. I had not mm. done. Get a brief summary of how the day was. Mm. Especially those who are work. Even if, because a woman is super mm. get. Super get. Mm. The mind is connected yes. to this, to this, to mm. this, to this. Mm. And so she's able to be toxic in all mm. areas. That's the wiring of a man. Mm. Whereas the wiring of a, of a, of a, the wiring of a woman, mm. the wiring of a man is very different. Mm. A man move, works in boxes. Mm -hmm. Anatoka boxi ya kazi, anaingia boxi ya watoto, anatoka mm. boxi ya watoto, anaingia boxi ya muke, mm. anatoka boxi ya muke, anaingia sex. Mm. That's a very controlled person. Mm. That's why men are more logical and more factual. Mm. Whereas women are more emotional. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. why I keep telling men, a wise man, never argue with your wife. Because that is her domain. She will defeat you. <laughs> you can't argue. That's her domain. And you are like, Kwani jicho ya upendo ni? Just admit. Because if you try to explain and to show that it was not, yes. you didn't mean, now you are bringing more problems. Because for her, she has already made a diagnosis and he, he, she even tells you, I know you. When a woman tells you, I know you, please, that is emotions. Anytime you're arguing with your wife and she tells you, Usi ni, mi nakujua. I know you, just know. Now she has entered into her domain. You can't argue with a, a woman emotionally and win. You can only argue with a wife factually. You use facts, you lose logic, you reason. Mm. That's a man's way. Wow. But when a man begins to get emotional like a woman, mm. uh, it is a sign that you are producing more estrogen than your wife. <laughs> you are becoming more feminine. You know, instead of producing more testosterone to remain as a man. And that's why I keep telling man, uh, men, if you want to have a peaceful uh, yeah. relationship with your wife, when your wife brings a quarrel, and you're not able to pick it up, just listen. Mm, 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 okay, okay. Mm, all right, mm, all right. You just listen because you're even, even as you're listening, as a man, you're wondering. So all this conversation is from where? Mm. Doing well. Just keep quiet because now it is her emotions that are now high. Mm. Mm, okay, I, uh -huh. so what do you ask her? What do you want us to do? Because women can create a problem and they also have a solution. <laughs> So don't they try, yeah, they, they can create and they have a solution. So okay. she just wanted to let you know. Mm -hmm. So what you do, just listen to and then ask her, excuse me, my wife. So in what, in what you have said, what is the way forward? What do we do here? She's going to tell you, no, me, I'm seeing, me, I'm seeing. So it, in other words, she was not coming for you to give her solution. She just wanted to empty out. Mm -hmm. So if she has not emptied out and you go to her in the bed, mm -hmm. you see her not... You, you, you find she's funny, she's frigid, she's not, she's not welcoming, and you're wondering what is it. It's because you never gave her an earring ear. Mm -hmm. So men have to cultivate that because if a woman does not vent out to the husband, mm -hmm. her frustration about work, mm -hmm. uh, her phone that she received during the day, mm -hmm. you know, all these things that are not work, if she doesn't have, if the husband is not a friend enough to empty out, it will affect her sexual life. Mm -hmm. And you see, a woman... I would say a woman is the, uh, would I say, the person who is in charge in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. A man can be in charge in the table room, projects at home, in the kitchen to make sure everything is okay. But when it comes to bedroom, remember, the person who is the queen there is the wife. Mm -hmm. So you must ensure before sex, ask her, do you have something that you wanted to tell me? Are you okay? 
Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm perceiving all this. No, yeah. In fact, even I was wondering whether you are going to give me and she will talk like that 30 minutes. You would better talk one 30 minutes mm -hmm. and one hour. Let her feel relieved. Mm -hmm. Then after that, have sex. You will have a very powerful sex. Mm -hmm. And that's why after every misunderstanding, I always encourage mm -hmm. a couple, after you have solved your conflict and misunderstanding, make sure you have it with sex. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. It's so powerful. Because it's like you, it's, it seals up. Mm -hmm or what the emotions that were so volatile mm -hmm. is like you seal it up but when you leave your wife and you tell her no don't that's a ninyo so the more you are adding insults mm -hmm. because you are not understanding the more you make the situation worse a, a wise husband should never react a wise husband should always act mm -hmm. Wow. Be, uh, be action oriented mm -hmm. more than just a reaction because a woman reacts. So when a husband reacts, it's reaction versus reaction. Mm -hmm. But a man should listen to the wife and act. From there, ask her, what is the way forward? Mm -hmm. what, what do we need to do? Mm -hmm. Or what is the solution in this matter? She's mm -hmm. going to give you the answer. Uh, there's something that uh, this uh, lady said, eh? mm -hmm. uh, you know, after all those frustrations, mm -hmm. I think the end of there she was talking about like she she's feeling like going out. Yeah, she yeah. was asking now. That yes. Am I going to live like this? Yes. What is the option that I have? Yes. yes. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. And all that. Eh? Mm. Because anytime you are in a problem, mm -hmm. like my dear has said, mm -hmm. the best way is to get a solution. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are here. Uh, Mom has just talked about having like mentors mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. oh, yes. and that's one of the key things that many people don't have they don't have mm -hmm. before that people are running marriage the way they think the way they have read from the media uh, you know and most of the time when we listen about relationships and marriage in the media mm -hmm. we are listening the long things mm -hmm. sure, sure. it's not about a perfect working relationship mm -hmm. you check even after this most of the things you are going to hear from the social media mm. or the news mm. about a husband and a wife. A negative. It will be 95% negative. It is negative. Mm -hmm. I don't know when we come to that point whereby, like maybe we have this channel, mm. uh, you know, and other channels mm. whereby we can talk about the positive part about the relationship, mm. the positive part about That's marriage. Because if you feed people with the negative, they'll tend to think that this thing does not work. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem we are having. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of negativity mm -hmm. about the relationship and about marriage. Oh, yes. Wow. And so people have tend to believe that, mm -hmm. that marriage is a scam. Mm -hmm. Simply because when we speak, you know, we are always talking about the things that are not working. Mm. I think yeah. I think it's a mm. I, I don't know mm. how I would say yeah. I would put it that those whose marriages are not working they are so vocal on the social media mm. the whereas the people yeah whereas the people who have marriages that are working are so silent yeah. Yeah. Mm. so we need to wow. have a campaign whereby if your marriage is working can you come out wow. and tell us what is the secret of your 20 years of marriage, mm. 30 years of marriage, mm. you know, 15 years of marriage, mm. 13 years of marriage. Mm. Because those whose marriage are, are failing mm. are the ones who are so vocal, they will talk and talk. And so the, the, naturally, as it is said, an, a negative thing spreads very fast, more mm. than a, a good thing. Mm. So what you're saying is very true. We need to come out boldly and begin to tell people this thing works because the mm. person who originated it mm. had knew it would work. Mm. So the reason why marriages are not working mm. is because we are not building our marriage on God's way mm -hmm. and when you don't build your marriage on God's way mm. and God's way means his word mm. you will have a challenge mm. because God's way it is in his word mm. so if I, if I don't know what the word of God says mm. the role of a wife the role mm. of a husband mm. I don't know how to respond to you with kind mm. words and kind action mm. we're gonna have a challenge mm. so the problem why we have a lot of divorce and separation mm. and marriages that are dysfunctional it mm. is because we are creating it using human wisdom mm. you know uh -huh, pragmatic mm. you know ideologies mm. you know sociologist mm. uh, ideas these are you know human wisdom mm. we, we nowhere we want to see anything godly mm. because we human beings feel they can do marriage even without God mm. but it's very 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 wrong mm. to have such a mentality because if an institution when you are employed by someone mm. you cannot do without their policies mm. 
Mm. And if you go against their policy, you are you are sacked. Mm. Then it also means the same. Mm. The reason why people are having divorce and separation and wow. dysfunctional marriages, mm. it is because they have refused the godly way. And people don't know the word. People wow. don't have time to study the word, to meditate on the word of mm. God, to act on the word. Mm. Because when you don't do that, you will surely have a challenge with your relationships. It is amazing how emotional aspect of a woman affects the rest of the rest of the her life her entire life is based on emotion because one thing an, a woman is an emotional being mm. adding to what mama has just been explaining the spaghetti thing. yeah the spaghetti wiring of the mind and such mm. like mm -hmm. so we just read an article with my husband the other day and i'm just getting to reflect it now that we are on the show mm. that was saying that uh, women always have uh, this uh, uh, emotional roller coaster mm. whereby they throw a lot of tantrums they create chaos in their homes the last five days before mm. their menstrual cycles mm -hmm. and most men do not know mm. they get mm. just they 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 are like what's wrong with this woman they mm. get involved in this all this chaos emotional space of this woman so they become both emotional beings mm -hmm. and when mom was saying that a man should be more practical and logical about how to handle the issues mm -hmm. i was just reflecting on that article oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that maybe men should be informed to know mm -hmm. if it is five days before the end of the month mm -hmm. if, if it is a quarrel that is coming from nowhere mm -hmm. you did see it coming and here you have a very tense conversation mm -hmm. it is just all about emotion just give us a resolution some of it just just hug and yeah. tell her ask her are you okay are you, is everything okay with you yeah. or give her a peck on the on the forehead uh -huh. it will solve a lot of things i'm not speaking for me <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but you just gave me a trick <laughs> and then yeah. daddy has said something that the society is so loud on negativity mm. especially mm -hmm. when it comes to family yeah. and these ones ha makes us to question the moral fabric of our society mm. people are so negative people are so much looking for bad things in others mm. which is showing either you having a problem you are not a happy person mm -hmm. when an unhappy person meets another unhappy person they amplify negativity mm -hmm. so i think it is high time we, we we encourage people to find happiness in their spaces mm -hmm. so that they can see positive things in in people mm -hmm. we've reached a point where by when mar a marriage breaks we celebrate it in on social media and even we tell people mta chana too as a society we need to have more positive Mm -hmm. starting from in, an, in, in, as an individual yeah. be a positive person the change starts with you mm -hmm. and also we can also the reason why we have most of it negative on social media is because the people with positive voices are so quiet mm -hmm. they are so different they don't yeah. give a damn they're like ah as long as i'm doing well mm -hmm. doesn't matter mm -hmm. but it should be like people are talking the positive things you find like there is a when you go to social media and somebody makes a post mm -hmm. when the first person second post person and the third person comments positively the rest of the comments will be positive mm -hmm. but if a person comes with a negative comment up on you this is in genesis of water it is a mob psychology mm -hmm. that when a positive person speaks up maybe we'll have less voice of negativity mm -hmm. so if you are having a positive energy around your family and mm -hmm. marriage and you want to inspire that people don't keep that goal yeah. to yourself come mm -hmm. out and share your story or even mm -hmm. if you can't share your story as a person if you see somebody has posted something positive about family come and comment yeah. and with that you amplify that uh, voice mm -hmm. so that is mine today i'm just happy we are being helped you're being helped i'm being helped may god bless you and your families wow, wow. Mm -hmm. that was powerful Amen. thank you for that yeah. I, i think we, what you've said we have this tendency of coping Mm. by the people's behaviors and emotions mm. yeah if someone is unhappy also copy that unhappy then also you comment in unhappily which yeah. is very bad and then also uh, number two media is really uh, propelling bad news than good news mm. like if you listen to radios in the morning most programs are always about uh, my wife left me so you women are just the same men are dogs so you me I, i'm cheating on my wife the, those testimonies are also just running on the show every morning mm. and i think they're also even giving young men fear of getting into marriage mm -hmm. and also those who are in marriage most of them are not even very sure hata kama wanafanya poa and asema may go and speak positive then 
kiniaribikie yeah. but it's just good to just remain positive and then finally uh, i'll just say that uh, we have said it's good to be communicating in our marriages in, mm. especially when it comes to sex issues mm. communicate with your partner tell her or tell him I don't like how you are doing it this way. Uh, can you try this style also? Mm -hmm. Because if it is small, maybe one style may not favor you, but mm -hmm. another style may favor you. Mm -hmm. Can you find out which style is favorable with the small machine that he has, mm -hmm. or the big that he has that can favor you? Wow. And then also, can you also talk as a woman? Tell mm -hmm. him, I think when you do this, I don't enjoy it. But when you do it like this, I enjoy it. Let us educate each other. Let us not, let us not assume that because when this lady is coming from their home, they apparently never maybe told them about how these things are done. Mm -hmm. So don't assume that she knows these yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Also, men, we were not taught, no one taught us, so let us also be able to learn from our spouse. Ask them after the, after the game, how was it? Mm. Do you think I should improve anywhere else? Mm. Did I go well? Was it faster? Was it slower? Do you want it faster or slower? And then from that, we'll be able to learn. Then we'll not be having these issues that are coming uh, whereby you just uh, you are dying in silence. You want to talk about your spouse. Then you go and post. Then you say, hide my ID. Let us avoid such things. So having said that, I thank you so much for being part of the show today. Until next time, this is... Naked and not ashamed show. Sure.